Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the catalytic activity of the transition metals and now in this topic we are going to talk about the magnetic moment for the transition metals and now in this topic let us understand what is the formula behind the effective magnetic moment as well as we are also going to calculate the effective magnetic moment for the transition metal ions. So friends now here we are going to talk about the magnetic moment of the transition metals. So we understand that is the electrons that are been revolving around the nucleus so it gives a magnetic moment but the magnetic moment of the electrons are because of the two motions that is the orbital motion and the spin motion. But the spin motion is basically the main reason to give the effective magnetic moment. So based on that we have a formula that is the effective magnetic moment so therefore this is nothing but this mu effective is known as effective magnetic moment so it has a formula that is square root of n n plus 2 Bohr's magneton this Bohr's magneton is actually the unit for the magnetic moment where n it represents the number of unpaired electron and in that case we could easily calculate the number of unpaired electrons of a particular that is ion or an atom and so based on that we are also going to calculate the mu efficiency of that particular atom or the ion so for that let us understand that how we can calculate the magnetic moment of the certain ions so friends here we have a question that is we have to calculate the magnetic moment that is effective magnetic moment of fe3 plus ion but for that we should understand that is how we can write the electronic configuration for fe so in this case the iron which has an atomic number of 26 we could write the electronic configuration as argon 18 4s2 3d6 but this is electronic configuration for fe that is which is not an ion which is in fact an atom but for example that is if you are talking about fe3 plus ion so in that case we have to remove the three electrons and that's the reason that is for fe3 plus ion the electronic configuration it will be argon 4s0 because the electrons it will be eliminated first from the s orbital and then it will remove from the that is the 3d orbital so in that case so one electron suppose if it is been eliminated from the 3d orbital so that's the reason that we could then only we could get that is fe3 plus ion so here basically you can find that is the d orbital consists of five electrons and that's the reason that this d subshell if you talk about so it consists of five electrons or five unpaired electrons if you would say one two three four five so here basically n which means the number of unpaired electrons here it has been found to be five so based on that we can easily calculate the mu efficiency or the effective magnetic moment and for that we have that is the mu efficiency or the magnetic moment efficiency for fe3 plus ions it would be nothing but it has a formula that is square root of n n plus 2 Bohr's magneton which is nothing but a unit so in that case the number of unpaired electrons that is what we have got it is 5 for fe3 plus and this is 5 plus 2 Bose magneton so therefore the value that is what we have got is this is 7 so 7 5 is a 35 so here that is root 35 Bose magneton which is nothing but 5.91 Bose magneton so this is how basically we can calculate the effective magnetic moment but based on this effective magnetic moment we could also understand that is whether the ion or whether the compound is paramagnetic or ferromagnetic depending upon the range of it so now let me discuss about the next one So the next is we have to calculate the magnetic moment of co2 plus that is cobalt 2 plus ion so it is very much simple that is we understand that is the cobalt has an electronic configuration and we understand that this the atomic number is nothing but 27 so based on that we could write the electronic configuration as argon 18 4s2 3d7 and on that case suppose if we are talking about the ion so in that case we could get to know that is it has two electrons less so that's the reason we could write that is argon 18 4 s 0 because the electrons it will be eliminated from the outermost shell and that is nothing but the fourth shell 
and talking about the next one so therefore it is 3d7 so here basically there will be no elimination of electrons from the d orbital and suppose if we have to calculate the number of unpaired electrons so for that we have to draw this orbitals and that is how we see we could get so it consists of seven electrons so one two three four five we are filling based on the Hunt's rule six and seven so this are the seven electrons that is what i have filled over here and now here basically we can find that is the number of unpaired electrons are nothing but three so here basically i could say that is the n has a value of three and based on this value we can easily calculate the mu efficiency or the magnetic moment of the particular ion so therefore the magnetic moment of that is co2 plus ions it is now found to be that is n n plus 2 Bohr's magneto where the value of n it has been found to be 3 so 3 plus 2 over here Bohr's magneto so it will be 3 plus 2 that is 5 5 threes are 15 so therefore it is 15 square root of 15 Bohr's magneto which is found to be 3.87 So if we compare it with the previous one, that is for Fe3 plus ion, so in that case, here basically we can find that is the value is less, that is 3.84, while in the previous one it was found to be that is more than 5.9. So in that case, that is the iron is very much paramagnetic in nature, while in this case it is less paramagnetic in nature. Depending on the value of the Bose magneton, we can easily assume the nature of it. So that's it. So this is what I want to discuss about in this topic. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.